Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. Uh, we just had a, num a number of UFOs again, including a carrier over here, which we shot down. Uh, some smaller ones over here, fighters over here. And Roy Fokker over here was uh, fighting with the interceptors, UFO interceptors, and a cruiser over here, which he got to 55% damage, which is pretty damn nice. So we're gonna get the rest of our complement ammo, 49%. Come on, guys. Rearm, please. Uh, ammo still 50%. Come on. There we go. One make should do it. Every Donny go. Uh, come on. There we go. Engage. Even though it's going for you, that should be fine. Get it, and then full speed ahead. <laughs> Bang. That was lovely. Okay, crashes into the sea, unfortunately, but that's fine. Production of mag pistol is finished, finally. Alright, well, let's make the precision as well. 23 days, that's crazy. Five days. Yeah, let's just do the this, the rifles. And be fine with it. Ah, there we go. Rapid fire mags. It is pleasing to be working with kinetic weapons again. Humans have been using them for thousands of years, and I feel we have developed a certain affinity with them. The intricacies of mag technology are, 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 are extremely complex and dramatically different from those of ballistic weapons, but there are still basic principles that can be carried between the two. The rotary barrel arrangement is one, having served us well for even for our rapid-fire energy weapons. We have adapted it for our final use, the Mag Storm, a devastating weapon capable of annihilating a target in a hail of hypersonic projectiles. It consists of four rotating barrels, each of which has an electromagnetic spiral that is wound twice as tightly as on a standard mag weapon. This could be used in, in part, uh, to impart more force on a projectile, but instead the weapon is set up so that each bullet uses only half of the coil. This allows each barrel to accelerate two bullets simu simultaneously, giving eight times the normal fire rate with no loss of stopping power. This technology is equally effective when using small caliber infantry uh, ammunition or large caliber aircraft ammunitions. It represents the ultimate and rapid fire weaponry. I'm sure your men will be keen to get their hands on them. Mm, lovely. That is going to be quite a large upgrade. Jesus Christ, look at that thing. The mag railgun is the most powerful weapon we could conceivably mount on a vehicle, firing sizable explosive pellets at hypersonic speeds. It is also an excellent defense battery weapon, the only ground weapon we have that is capable of breaching the thick armor on an, of an alien capital ship. The mag railgun is a railgun rather than a coil gun. Rather than uh, using a coil of magnets to accelerate the projectile, it instead uses a parallel pair of oppositely charged... Um, I can't speak today, I'm sorry. Oppositively... Oppositely, because it's opposite. <laughs> Oppositely charge electromagnetic rails. These are linked by the projectile itself, which effectively completes the electrical circuit between the two rails. The resulting magnetic force pushes the projectile along the rails and launches it from the end of the gun barrel at high speed. The railgun design is more complex in practice than the coil gun, but is more efficient and can generate much greater projectile velocities. Our prototype is extremely powerful and can impart enough kinetic energy into a projectile to launch it clean into orbit, although the air resistance means there would not be a great deal of uh, it left afterwards. Nevertheless, this makes the railgun a rather handy battlefield tool. It is capable of annihilating most targets with a single shot, whilst also inflicting heavy explosive damage on anything nearby. We have already fitted enlarged versions of these weapons on our existing defense batteries, making them significantly more effective. In a sense, it is a, p a pity that Earth possesses an, an as a, 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 a what? What's going on? In a sense, it is a pity that Earth possesses an atmosphere. If it did not burn up our projectiles as they traveled through it, we could simply blast the alien UFOs out of orbit. This lo thing looks really cool. Look at that thing. That now that is a minigun. Yeah, minigun, more like a mega gun, and I hope I can actually pronounce words now. Jeez. Right, hyperdrive. A mysterious device that we believe holds the secrets of alien interstellar travel. Uh, we're gonna do the assault boat first, I believe. I think this is the, yeah, this is the previous tank thingy. 
assault boat first, uh, first. and now we can actually equip <clears throat> Mr. Lazy Legion Spark with a mag railgun. Yeah, this mag railgun is rad. And we have another slot here, so we could always make another one. Mag storm, excellent. Well, let's go. Give me those weapons. Ah, massive UFO. Lots of UFOs. Right, so first, this carrier. We'll have the two marauders. Um, well, that one I would like to take out. Yeah, let's just send everything from Central America. This one will be get, uh, taken out by Grenadier Noob. And over here we have some stuff going on. So I'll send our MiGs. Oh, he's landed. Select new target, but it's at night, so I'm definitely not going over there. Return to base, please. There's a carrier. Tail until overland. Engage that thing. Oh yeah, look at that. Max storm. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's gonna go down really quickly. Well, not that quickly, actually. Hmm. But still. Nice. Max storm. Smash that. Yeah, I'm not going there at night. No way. Research. Civilian. Yeah, it's civilians as well. Come on, that squadron. What are they waiting for? They're over land now. Engage it. Right, everyone full speed. Go. That carrier really turns like crazy. Okay, you can go back home. And you guys are going around the carrier. If I could only select both of them without selecting Eridani, that would be nice. But I think it's going for Eridani anyway. So we should be fine. No, it's not. Oh, jeez. Fine. Let's see who it's going for then. Okay, it's going for Roy Fokker. No, 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 no. Oh! There we go. <laughs> that was quite nice, actually. Uh, we're gonna smash that crash site. And if this guy will still be there when it's daytime, I'm gonna get it. You have dis disappeared from radar screens. Okay, yeah, go to last known location. Where is it? Where was it heading? I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. It might have just gone, hmm, return to base then. Yeah, I want to get this guy, but going over there right now is very risky, because if you get there with the Shrike, and at that point he, uh, he lifts off, well, then you have a huge problem, <laughs> and you die. Okay, Captain K should be okay. Now, we do have more mag weapons, don't we? Only two, hmm. but still, pretty nice. Um, shield boof, your accuracy is not that great, but yeah, well, there you go. Can you have anything else? Yes, you can, so let's give you more, more grenades. Oh, okay, that's it. Well, actually, those smoke grenades really came in handy. Oh, yeah, you, you have more, never mind. Commander Missy, you can get your lovely mag weapon now. Mag pistol, there we go. That is cool. Yeah, let's have some smoke grenades here as well, just in case. Uh, do we have any more? No, we don't. Okay, that should be fine then. Right, I'm going to save just in case, because I really do not want to do anything if uh, they shoot the Shrike down. I don't know. Oh, you can actually send a, uh... Oh, okay. You can actually send a, um, escort. That's okay. Well, that one is gonna get taken down by the Corsairs. Massive carrier. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, engage. Now, the bad thing is, when we finish the mission, the squadron will not be able to be split, so I'll have to wait for the Shrike to go back to base until we can send those uh, marauders to that 
other carrier, which is really annoying, to be honest. Both human and alien armor degrades as it absorbs damage, becoming less effective for the remainder of the mission. Well, this is going to be quite a mission, because this is a landed carrier, and it's got civilians, which means probably um, battle rifles, heavy armor, and the civilian regeneration. Now, you'd think that, well, we'll just stay at range and they'll be fine, and we already see one of them there. But no, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Right. Captain Piety. Can you do two shots? No, you can't. You can only do two shots like this. But take him like that, anyway. Not bad, and he's not shooting back. Uh, Shia, you've got your shiny new weapon. That's pretty damn good. 41. You can do two shots, 80%. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, there we go. There's another one there. Does he have a plasma cannon? I'm not entirely sure. Well, Battle Bunny should be able to take him out. Very nice. These mag weapons really are awesome. Oh, that wasn't that awesome. Uh, oh, that was a bit stupid. Yep, but oh well. Still works. Jazzamol, please take him out. I love these mag weapons. Love them. Alright, now. Let's explore. Ooh, can go quite far up. Where is it? Okay, it's in there. And they've all got heavy plasma and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we only see one for now. One in there. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. There's one there and one there. Fine. I'm gonna go and hide over here for now. This is the really nice thing about these flying suits. Can't really go over there at the moment. Major Captain K. White Lightning. Let's be ready. Yes, I know there's aliens there. Thank you. That civilian has had it. <laughs> Actually, I might go this way. Um, henchman. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. I've, I, once again, I've forgotten to give henchmen uh, proper armor. Ugh. Well, you go over there then. We'll be careful with you. Major Captain Kassler. I think he'll be able to hit you from here, so... We need to be careful about that. Yep, he will. He just has to go over here. So we'll go over here, because this is a full block. Yep. Alright. And beat down. Beat him down! Hopefully there's no one in here. Go on then. Don't be shy. And end the turn. Yeah, that's... Whoa! Okay, Reaper. <coughs> Almost forgotten about those. Well, that civilian... And that's it. Wow. Uh, I think a farmer is pissed off. <laughs> I think that was a shotgun. But I don't think it actually hit anything. I saw a little miss text pop up just for a moment. But nothing else. Oh, well, that's a civilian gone. Oh dear. My, that's quite a long turn. That's, uh... Yeah. Cause for, for concern, I think. <laughs> Jeez, how long is this turn? Come on. Seriously? Okay. Yeah, that's uh, not nice. Well. There's a perfect moment for uh, some shooting. <laughs> nice. Made the thing come out and killed it as well. Perfect. All right. And Captain K over here as well, I think. Take it out. Well, that wasn't really that great, but hey, at least we, at least we suppressed it. So it's not going to be running about like a crazy thing. Well, it is, but... Um, well, that's not too bad. Seriously. Let's go over there, beat down. 
You really need to level up, please. Right, so where are these guys? There he is. Hmm. That's not really great. He's all the way over there, so if I go there... Don't really have, um, a lot of options. Can only shoot him once, and that's not gonna be enough. These are full block, though, right? Yes, they are. Hmm. 41. Damn, these mag weapons are crazy. That's with a pistol. Okay, he can actually shoot from there. That's not nice. I'm gonna be over here. Uh, Captain Piety. Why don't you just finish that thing off? But someone needs to spot for you, Shia. There it is. Take it out, please. <laughs> Very nice, thank you. Now, we gotta be careful. There's another one of those things over here. So we got to be careful. I'll go over here and crouch. And hopefully not get murdered. Major Henchman. Gotta be careful. And Battle Bunny is all the way back here. Come on then. Over here. And Jasmine. Could maybe actually do something about that thing. Hmm. It's still a little blocked. That's it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. That was quite nice. Oh, crap, another one! Uh, please take the civilian. We're only here to save, well, civilians. Well, it didn't have enough time units to do anything, so that's good. And it's actually, this is better that it didn't kill the civilian. It's not like I give a rat's ass about the civilian, but uh, I would have another Ravager on my hands. Well, no wait, Ravager? It's a Reaper, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I would have a zombie and then a Reaper when you kill it. Alright, come on then. These uh, hidden movement... Oh, yeah, run! <laughs> run, but... I'm afraid you're in the wrong place there, buddy, because I believe there's a civilian there. No? I thought there was. Huh. That's odd. Oh my god, another one! Shite. Shia, take it out, please. Very nice. Okay, and Battle Bunny here will need to take that one out. Uh, 61 for a burst. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, please take it out. Shit, that's... It's not enough. 41. Take it out, please. <laughs> nice, thank you, Castler. Okay, so we've got one of them over there, which should not be a problem, actually. Because... La -la -la -la. We'll just get beat down over here. Oh, it's not going to be enough, though. Mm hmm... I'll take a shot. Oh, come on. Beat down. That was it. Captain K is going to provide some uh, suppressive fire, I think. Where do we have to go, though? Yeah, there. <laughs> Very nice. I love this. And you can't get back into cover, which means that Commander Missy over here will need to do something about this. Uh, hmm. Well... We can do two shots like this. And you didn't make him count. Oh, come on! Seriously. Jeez. Uh, and now we can't actually shoot from here. Ah, oh, crap. Someone please take this thing out. I would really appreciate it. Uh, Captain Piety. Ooh. Can actually do this. Oh, no, we can't, because there, this bloody wall is in the way. Oh, dear. Major Henchman, we need your help. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. And indeed, that's a 45% block. Please hit him. Oh, for Pete's sake. Well, that's gonna hurt. 
Wait a second. Just them all... No, the roofs are not... You can't land on these roofs. Damn it. Well, that's gonna hurt. Because you guys are too stupid to hit anything. Good luck, Missy. Missing that was... Oh, he's gonna throw a grenade, I think. At least it looked like it. Well, he's certainly suppressed, so he only has half of the time minutes, but... He can still do a shot, I think. Just not sure if he can do a, a burst attack. Well, apparently it's... Nothing's gonna happen then. I don't know. Either way, I'm happy that we're all alive. And that civilian is still alive. Okay, well, hey, you all survived. And he's got, indeed, a grenade ready, I believe. So, uh, well, anyway, thank you for watching. And we're gonna continue in the next part. Bye-bye.